Come here, buddy. How we doing, guys? Hey, Chris. How's he doing on his training? It's coming. Come along, all right? Yeah. The team has been doing an incredible job with Mufasa. Mufasa, come. Good boy. They're doing a lot of training with him, particularly some name recognition, which will be really good and important for recalls when we get into the introduction. As a good boy. Over the last several months, Mufasa's had what we call a howdy situation. He's had a lot of interaction as far as being able to go up and kind of smell the girls, kind of nose up, uh, but it's always been through protective barrier. When we start the introductions, that'll be the first time he has free access to the entire group. I'm nervous. Yeah, a little bit? A little bit. What do you think? You're always nervous. Yeah, yeah. Usually goes well as long as the girls kind of stick together. Yeah. With Mufasa being new to us, we're not sure what to expect from him, especially when it comes to three females, two juveniles and a baby, um, especially baby Ruby, which is our biggest concern just because she is so tiny. She is not even one yet. So all of us are a little nervous, but that's the case with any intros that you do. He's been kind of comfortable, but he's never been in with multiple females. Yeah. So he's been on a one-on-one -on -one situation. Yeah. So this will be the first time he's really with a large group. Hopefully that's a good thing. Fingers crossed. Uh, you know, he gets the job done pretty quick. Right. I'm ready for another rhino baby. Yeah, me too, yeah. right? Yeah. White rhinos have been unfortunately hit really, really hard by the poaching industry. So every time we're able to bring in new genetics and produce calves here at Zoo Tampa, it's really a sign of hope. Good boy.